Hey guys, this is Dr. Subha Ramnani and welcome back to the channel and another video on US Assembly Step 1. So, as you know, I recently cleared my Step 1 while I was in internship. So, clearing Step 1 during internship is a, a story and a task in itself because internship can be hectic, it may or definitely won't follow what you're studying for Step 1, it will you know follow its own schedule and everything so how did what did i learn from preparing for step one during my internship and what i can uh, you know tell you if you are in the same position if you are maybe uh, doing a job or you're doing an internship or you're doing something completely different and not medical school how you should or you can manage your time and prepare for step one so here it goes i'll give you some four five points or four five rules i would say which i follow religiously and help me prepare for step one during internship the number one rule is choosing or if you have the option to choose where you are going for an internship or job so if you know you're going to prepare for step one and you also have to do internship or a job try and choose a job or an internship which does not have a very hectic schedule i know beggars are not choosers that's that's what they say uh, but if you have the luxury to choose choose a job or an internship where you have the luxury of time uh, where there is not enough you know hectic schedule where there are also a lot of other interns or other co-workers which you know who can help you and everything else so this is like ground up the straight point uh, before even telling you uh, you know what to do uh, so basically once you are during uh, in internship or job what you can do if you have a schedule i would say the best and the ideal time to study is right before internship or right after internship or job whatever i'll just say internship for the sake of this video so right before internship let's say if your internship starts at 9 a.m so i think 7 a.m to 9 a.m or if you know travel takes half an hour so 6 30 to 8 30 a.m would be the best time to study and if your internship finishes at let's say 5 p.m so 5 to 7 p.m would be the best time to study so I don't mean study you know before like at home and then go for work or come back from work and then study ideally the best would be that's what I felt to study at the workplace so go in two hours early if you have a room and all you can or library study there or leave two hours late because uh, I say like once you get home maybe you know you will feel fatigued you'll be hungry you'll want to watch some tv you want to relax after a hectic day of work etc etc if you can do it at home perfect but i would say for most people i think ideal would be to study at the workplace ideally two hours before or two hours after that's the number one rule the best time number two you can also study during your work hours if you have the time you are uh, you might not have a lot of time but you still have short spans of free time during your work time where you can study and i don't mean study study but you can you know uh, do some reviewing of the stuff so if you do anki i think anki is the best thing you can do during your work hours because it's just on your phone it's flashcards you can do it for one minute and just leave it go to your work if you have some time basically anything you can do on your mobile or you can do just standing or walking or in between times i think you can do that during your work and i personally did i made sure i completed my anki uh, during my internship i did not do anki at home at all because it was just done on mobile and i found enough time that i can just you know go through my flashcards during my work hours so the reviewing stuff the small part i think you can do even during work if your work allows that um, and yeah two hours before two hours after i already said number three rule is friends support system 
and i cannot emphasize this enough how important it was for me i know my friend watching this video if he is watching this video he would be laughing seeing this segment because he really helped me a lot so if your internship has has a roster or a schedule where you are allocated okay like this month you are in you know this department with this person and you are duty hours are from this time to this time and that and that so if you all interns or all work people set the schedule yourself i would say if you have good friends uh, who can you know listen to you who can help you uh, set a schedule according to you for example if your study days are monday wednesday friday you want to study like hardcore so maybe you can schedule in less work on those days and more work on the other days just an example but uh, yeah having friends who can uh, you know set your schedule and number 2 who can cover duties for you and you can cover for them later after your exam maybe after you take the exam you can do their duties and before uh, when you're preparing for the exam they can help you and you know do your duties uh, this is just an idea sometimes i did that uh, also for example uh, if you have your let's say study days you can let your friends do your your duties on your study days and on your off days basically you can go do the work for them uh, so i think you get the point having friends having maintaining a good social group uh, a support system is really important if you are studying as well as you know doing your internship um, because you need a positive impact uh, on both fronts on your work and internship as well as preparation and the support system will be i think key to it number 4 what if you want to take mock exams so this was a problem when i was you know in my internship because mock exams are basically a lot of hours like 5 hours if you're taking an nbme it's 5 hours long 4 uh, hours long for uws and stuff like that but if you have a working schedule let's say if you are working 9 to 5 getting 5 hours of work done together is difficult finding a time because after 5 pm you taking a mock exam not really ideal and before 9 am let's say if you working 9 to 5 5 hours not really ideal so it's difficult to take that mock exam uh, during your internship but what i did and what i found a let's say loophole around it is i used to take night duties when i had uh, when i had to take the mock exam so because in night duty we used to get the next day off so that's what i did uh, whenever i had scheduled in a mock exam towards the end of my preparation i made sure i have a night duty before it or after it so i get that one day off and i can you know take that mock exam 5 hours at a stretch so this is uh, this is i think will be more beneficial towards the end of your exam and number 5 the most i think uh, it goes without saying but try to finish your work early if you can i mean i i know it's not possible but if you are let's say again working from 9 to 5 and you finish your work at 4 essentially you gain 1 hour and you can relax for half an hour and then start your studies and if you're studying 2 hours later than work then you have 2 and a half works 2 and a half hours of work to do and i think um, if you are doing it during internship and work it is a more longer process so your preparation might be stretched out because consistency will matter more if you are studying 2 hours or 3 hours every day uh, during your work or internship i think it's definitely possible to crack this exam and that's how i did so these were these were like the four five points i followed and i think which can help you if you're preparing for usmle step 1 during your work or in and that's about it if this video helped you share it with your friends uh, give it a like give it a subscribe follow on instagram everything you know the drill and i'll see you in the next video bye bye